Hey Gators! Welcome back to another edition of Swamp Talk. I'm Mercedes. And I'm Isaiah. And now for a few announcements. There will be a National Honor Society meeting tomorrow at 2 p.m. in room 406. In addition to the meeting, the Lady Gators will have an away volleyball game at Wesley Chapel at 6 p.m. There will also be a JV football game at Sunlake at 7 p.m. In addition, there is an away golf match at 3. Mark your calendars and bring your best smile. Picture Day is next Friday, September 17th. On Tuesday, September 17th at 6 p.m., seniors and parents are invited to attend a presentation about the college application process, post-secondary options, and the SAT and ACT. If you can't make it, handouts and slides can be found at Mr. Mellon's Twitter. Your book club will be having their first meeting Monday, September 6th, right after school from 2 to 2.30 in the journalism room, which is 5.22. If you cannot make that meeting, see Ms. LaBarba for more information. Starting off this new school year, we here at Swamp Talk wanted to create a show that would not just talk about our school, but also events going on in the real world. So without further ado, let's jump into our first Worldwide Wednesday. Continuing protests in the Chinese Special Administrative Region of Hong Kong have been going on for weeks against the Chinese government. 1.5 million people gathered to demand the resignation of Chief Executive Carrie Lam. Protesters have been persistent in their actions to keep their personal freedoms and continue operation as an independent democratic country. The protests have been numerous and mostly peaceful, with passive pro-democracy motivations. Pushback from Chinese police has caused some instances of violent outbreaks. The protesters waving the American flag have been met with tear gas and rubber bullets used by Chinese police. On the other side of the Pacific, President Trump has gone on record describing the situation as tough and tricky, among other things. Well, I am concerned. I wouldn't want to see a violent crackdown. The future of Hong Kong is uncertain at best. All we can do is hope they can accomplish their goals. This is Tyler Wilkie for Swamp Talk. In other news, Iceland has recently lost its first glacier to climate change and global warming. This was a symbolic loss more than anything, because 10% of Iceland is pure solid ice. It's only a matter of time until the situation gets worse. Last week, Iceland lost its first glacier due to climate change. It was declared an inactive glacier by glaciologists back in 2014, but officially was lost as of August 18th of this year. Dozens of government officials, scientists, and civilians have hiked out to the remains of the glacier Wachnikul and left a plaque in its memory. This plaque reads, a letter to the future. This is the first Icelandic glacier to lose its status as a glacier. In the next 200 years, all our glaciers are expected to follow the same path. This monument is to acknowledge that we know what is happening and what needs to be done. Only you know if we did it. Glaciers are in bad shape worldwide, from North America and Europe to Greenland and Antarctica. Michael Zempf, the director of the World Glacier Monitoring Service at the University of Zurich, stated, at the current glacier loss rate, the glaciers will not survive a century. If all the glaciers were to melt, sea levels could rise to about 230 feet. This would mean that we would run the risk of losing all of our coastal cities, such as Miami, Tampa, and Daytona. We'll be keeping tabs on the situation, so be sure to check back for any new updates. In lighter news, a new sculpture is serving the people of New Zealand. Quasi is the name of a 16-foot hand perched on the roof of the Wellington City Gallery. Created by Ronnie Van Hout, this partial self-portrait was made using scans of his own body parts. The sculpture has gained massive attention since first appearing on the rooftop. Most onlookers have had a negative reaction on Twitter. Despite this, it is expected to remain on the rooftop for the next three years. That's all the time we have for today. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at LOHS Journalism to stay updated. And tune in next time for another edition of Swamp Talk.